hello and welcome back to a new uh, yeah AOR PC GT3 league race but this time it's not the pro league but the elite league yeah I got uh, promoted to the elite league and this is my first race in it um, yeah I'm still using my BMW Z4 and uh, yeah we are driving around Brno which is in uh, yeah the Czech Republic and uh, yeah I don't really like this track I've driven it before in DTM Race Driver 3 and uh, yeah I think it doesn't suit uh, GT cars well um, I think it's uh, better for motorcycling like MotoGP and stuff and we are on our outlap and uh, yeah I can promise you the, uh, the field is much more closer and uh, yeah much more competitive than in um, yeah than in pro and uh, yeah but uh, for for this race it was uh, really hard for me because I didn't get along with the track uh, at all I had struggles especially in these uh, yeah chicanes and these long chicanes and um, yeah now we are coming slowly to the start finish straight just uh, yeah, a couple of corners to go and uh, yeah we are trying to leave this little gap to the cars in front but they also try to do that um, so yeah it's quite bunched up at the moment I'm still watching my brake temperatures they should be alright for quality now you can see the field. We are 25 uh, cars or 26 cars uh, at the moment. Two are the commentators, which are Fizzy, Fan, and uh, Yorkie, and 24 are driving. So much more drivers uh, overall. I think um, overall we are 28 drivers, or we can be 28 drivers. Now we are starting our hot lap, our first quality lap in the Elite League and now breaking at the white line here going pretty wide and now trying to cut uh, back to the inside it was pretty okay but my, my setup didn't work at all around this track so yeah we will see breaking just after the 100 meter board breaking is pretty important around this track you can break really really late into some corners and now into this right hander kink you can see my car swerving around not really uh, getting the grip on the front end and now just after the 100 meter board again down into second gear and now another kink again I think I could have uh, went with more speed in that corner and now again a difficult exit you can hear my throttle just uh, yeah blipping for a moment so I couldn't really get in the power and now another chicane I, re I, I really hate these chicanes and again problems with getting on the power so this isn't a good quality lap at all and again getting a bit wide in this a long right hander now to sector 3 another left right hander I mean it's almost uh, like there's three or four corners which are the same and I don't really like that uh, to have you will see it right now the same type of corner just a little bit wider so there's no variety in the corners and that's something I don't like at all at least we get a good exit round here and that will be a 1 minute 58.343 which uh, yeah is not really what I hope for now you can see me trying to get uh, one more lap and you can see the um, timer at the bottom left 1 minute 57 and we go over the line so <laughs> we need to improve to get the time in again a little bit of swerve in the first corner but I think this was better than in the first try I did improve in my second lap for yeah about a tenth or so yeah but it didn't really help me it's just P17 at the moment and now into this right left hander and the first one of those 
Taking it actually pretty nice. Getting on the grass a bit, but yeah, this was slightly better. You can see one tenth improvement. But the question is, will we finish this lap? This is uh, the question. And if, then uh, we sure have an improvement that was, I think, a little bit better, but almost, yeah, we almost cut the corner. I don't know if I was on the white line with my left uh, tires there. But overall, this looks like a better lap. The front end grips a little bit more. And again, a better exit around this corner, which is, yeah, I think this corner is really important because it's quite a long straight after this. And now we're just breaking after the 100 meter boat again, or yeah, just before the curb ends, getting out pretty wide. This wasn't good, I think, but at least we got a good exit. And now just breaking after the curb. Trying to stay on the inside, we definitely get closer to AJ. But it's all fine for now. Another one and a half tenths, so three tenths up at the moment, and now breaking at the curb, getting the nose in. This was quite okay again. And now the last corner. The question is will the time count or will the uh, timer just run out of time? Zero seconds, and did we do it? Uh, yeah, we can see. Kaki on pole with almost half a second, yeah, half a second gap to Mini Black, Puff Pirate in third, Kanuma fourth. All these guys are so quick. Tony R in fifth, yeah, and he's already a second behind Kaki. Kaki is really strong on this track. Um, yeah, the best set four is in P2, so I could have done way better. Um, Papant in P8, uh, yeah. You may know him from the video around Sakito where he had quite a nice battle. Remy Boo and Blue Rat uh, round out the top 10. And they are already one and a half seconds behind. And now P11 Jellyfish. I'm in P12, so my time did count. Or did it? We will see. So I'm in P12, one and a half seconds behind. And Regor P13, Klaasen's P14, Fredda, another pet driver also on the Z4 in P15. Today, Tipple and the host Wizard of Norse in P18. Andrex P19 and Maisie P20 and then we have yeah four more drivers Dangerous Ginetta 21st, AJ 22nd, Centro 23rd and yeah both of the Mercedes running out the field. Gronster had a um, quality penalty from um, Monaco so he's in P26 and now to the race and you can see I'm down on P16, so oh, mine's fucked. what happened is I think my lap did count on the quality table, but the game didn't count it overall. So I started with my second best lap, which was a 158.2, and now I'm down on P16. I think I was in front of Regor, or would have been in front of Regor with my other lap, but uh, I don't know, just another project cast bug, so... Unfortunately right. for us, um, okay, yeah, four more back. positions or six more yeah. positions okay. down. P18 now suddenly. I don't know what happened there. Oh, there's blue red lagging. So P17. Okay. There are two cars on the grid, standing still. Now P15, really strange. I would have started in front of Regor, and now we jump to the formation point on this. Uh, yeah. Formation lap. So P15 it is from where we started. Would have been P11 I think. One one guy disconnected or two guys did disconnect in warm up and they couldn't reconnect. So now for the start, you can see quite a lot of Z force around me. Two in front of me, and there's one person breaking. And I think it's Andrex or Maisie who's behind me in the M3 and he got really close to me. Luckily he didn't hit me and I didn't get any damage from that. So there we are. Trying to get as close to today as possible. We have the inside line for turn one which is actually a quite big advantage because all the cars on the outside have to 
go the long way. We did a good start, we are really close to today, already up to P14 and now trying to get on the inside for turn 1. And we do that, get past him, P13 and now we could have... Yeah, we can have a chance to overtake some guys on the outside, which we do. P11 or P12 at the moment. Some's on, some guys on our outside. And now really breaking late, getting close to Tuniar, who lost quite some positions at the start, I think. Now trying to get on the inside, but there's no room for us. So we settle down in P10. I think there's a car on my outside at the moment. Which is Freda, he's yeah, one tenth behind me, so yeah, there he is. Now again I'm breaking late and yeah, but there isn't really much space. Bronski, Papa and Tony are in front of me, so we had a good start. So it wasn't too bad that we yeah, had this bug with the quality time. Um Yeah, it didn't cost us too much, we can say, but maybe yeah, we could have had a good start at uh, from P eleven and would have been in P seven or something like that, but uh, yeah, I definitely doubt that. So, we can see some cars in front of us are battling and Papant and Tony are driving uh, side by side for almost half a lap now. And uh, now Papant is getting in front, yeah. but Tony R is breaking later. And now they are again almost side by side, Papant struggling to get out of that corner. And now they are again side by side. Uh, in front of them, the car is already pretty much settled down, like behind me. No fights for positions, I even had to avoid Tony R here. <laughs> and they are still side by side. And now we have a chance to get close to Papan and we touch Tony R sli uh, yeah, slightly. And I think we helped him quite a bit and uh, he could, uh, yeah, he did overtake Papan. And now we are in P10 and we can see we have really, really bad top speed. Yeah, the cars behind me and in front of me are getting away on the straights. Okay. We are trying to uh, take the first corner as tight as possible so no one has a chance to yeah get past. We actually catched up a bit on Papand. And in P10 at the moment, which uh, would be 7 points I think. So, I would be happy with a points finish around this track, I really hate it. And I think it is almost my worst track on this uh, game. Of course, it's not the best. Uh, it's not the worst track for the Z4. It's actually pretty good around here. And now we are jumping to lap four, and we are right behind Brownski, who yeah, uh, felt back a little bit. Papa and Antonia were able to overtake him. And now we are trying uh, to get past, but you can see. Only start finish straight or overall on the straights, I don't really have a chance. And Bronski is taking a different line, he's getting really close, he's taking the first corner like a V, and I'm trying to take it like an U, so he's uh, having a, uh, an early apex, then going out wide and taking a second apex, and I try to take one apex over the whole corner over the whole corner I don't know which option is quicker definitely could be different because I'm on the pad and he's on the wheel so I noticed there are some slight differences in uh, some lines but um, at the moment we're quite happy I would say again here he's taking a different line and he's making a mistake he's going out wide and now we bump him slightly but yeah that's GT3 racing I think it's okay, and now we have a chance to go up his inside, he's going out wide. And now something happens, which is the glue effect, he glued to my car and he couldn't do nothing and I couldn't uh, do anything as well. Yeah, and he got off the track, I crashed into him and had uh, yeah, major aero damage. From now on, luckily no suspension damage, uh, but uh, overall my car had around 20 aero damage at the front. And yeah, you can see from now on, there's nothing really I could do from now on. Fred, I got past, I'm still in P10, but now my pace will drop uh, heavily, I think. Papa and uh, even, yeah, way behind me. I couldn't do anything, I, I mean, um, of course I touched him one corner before that, but nothing happened there. And then I tried to get alongside uh, him, and yeah, this glue effect is... I think really strange when you're side by side. I 
Even if I touch him, there shouldn't be happening anything because we are driving on a straight and he shouldn't turn anywhere. But uh, he just glued to my car and flew off the track, and I couldn't do anything. And now Gronstra, who had the quali ban, has a really strong race pace and going up my inside, and really nice move from him. Again, you can see my pace dropping a lot from now on. So, Gronstra in P10, we still in P11, but uh, yeah, it will be quite hard to keep all the cars behind me, especially with my um, yeah, really bad top speed. And now Raygor is trying to get a move on me, but uh, yeah, I am breaking late enough at the moment. So, uh, triple Z4 train at the moment in the midfield. I'm the last car of these Z4s. Okay. You can see they are taking different lines. I guess, I guess Freda did a, s a slight mistake. And now Gronstra is really close uh, up in front of us. But I think we should stay behind him right now. Now he has to be careful with this glue effect and I'm trying to get a pass on him and it happens again. Whoa. Nothing I can do, nothing, really nothing. I'm trying to join the track uh, of yeah, the ideal okay. line and uh, yeah. Nothing I could do about that, uh, just drove alongside him. He drove his line and I think in every other game there shouldn't be happening anything and uh, yeah, the, the glue effect did work. I think this time it would have been, uh, yeah, in the first time it would have been more my fault than Brownski's, but in this time it would have been definitely more Ronstra's fault because he didn't leave me any space on the outside, although I was alongside him. And now, lap 20, uh, lap 15, I'm getting into the pits, and you can see I'm well outside the points. Some did even pit, so P16 overall, I'm outside of the points at the moment. You can see I'm trying to save uh, that. My car gets repaired. Exited pits. Sorry. And now we are having a pit stop. Jellyfish in front of me already <laughs> getting away. And Maisie sees that as well. Now he's getting in his pits. There's Andrex and other guys who overtook me uh, after that, but it wasn't any spectacular things. Yeah, just me having a, a hard time with the arrow damage and from now on it should be better we are joining in P20 silver arrow behind me so we are the third last car yeah of course the two commentators are still in the lobby so P22 would have been the last place we are in P20 and now almost seven seconds to the car in front we can see now jumping to lap 19 there are quite some cars so we could have uh, yeah we could have a chance to overtake them Again, yeah, we are really struggling at the moment. Even if the car is light on fuel, which isn't really helping you that much in project cars, uh, yeah, it gives you around a second of pace maybe overall compared to a completely empty tam tank. And now something happens which I try to avoid 100%. I'm breaking at the curb just as every lap. And you can see I would have gotten the corner, but AJ braked early. I didn't expect that, and yeah, I did uh, destroy AJ's race completely. I'm really sorry for that. I mean, uh, I did excuse right after the race. He said it's okay. It was a shit race anyway, and uh, yeah, I really got lucky that he didn't put anything up in the Stewart's uh, channel. But um, yeah, just the tip of a shit race, I think. And uh, yeah, from now on we can forget everything. Um, yeah, really stupid mistake. Um, I know the Z4 has the best brakes in the field, and if I get close to some guys who are battling with each other, I should brake early, especially when I don't know when they brake. So, 100% my fault. Um, yeah, really bad. And now we are in the last lap. We got lapped by Kaki. I did pit a second time just to uh, yeah improve my fastest lap. The points were out of reach anyway. And I did have slight arrow damage, just not as much as after the first crash with Brownski, but uh, yeah, this was definitely 100% my fault, and yeah, I'm really sorry for AJ, who really has a hard time this season, not the first time he got crashed out, and um, yeah, I'm not really pleased with how this race went overall, it's too many crashes again, just like in Catalonia. 
and I'm trying to improve that. I know the uh, um, collision model isn't good in project cars, uh, especially when you are driving alongside. Uh, the glue effect is, yeah, horrendous. And um, yeah, that's that's a big problem in my eyes. Um, yeah, I should avoid uh, to race side by side so closely like uh, how I'm used to in Code Masters games and stuff. Because in this game, it just isn't working. You aren't even allowed to have any contact and if you're watching DTM or other GT3 leagues like um, ADAC GT3 Masters um, you can see cars all the time uh, touching each other side by side in this game it isn't possible so for the next race around uh, Road America which will be in the rain the main target should definitely be have a race without any incidents that should be the main target to 100% and maybe get a good result and yeah this race is just to forget no points for us just drifting around and um, yeah, really a race to forget I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless I think the first uh, two laps were quite fun but after that yeah nothing really good the game says I'm finished in P2, but this is just because I'm lapped, yeah, a little bit buggy. Now the final results, Kaki wins 30 seconds in front of Puff Pirate and Rami Wu. I think for both it was the first podium of the season. Then the championship leader, Kanuma, in his Aston Margin in P5, really close behind Rami Wu. Then Mini Black, who started from P2 in P5, Y comes in P6. Runstar a really strong recovery, P7, Papant in P8, Tony R, P9, Brownski, yeah, scoring some points despite the incident with me, so, yeah, you can see quite close in some points, but Kaki just what was outstanding, over one second per lap quicker than the second car, and Wizard in P11, Jellyfish P12, Andrex in P13, he's fourth and in the championship. Freda Hidiaki, both uh, yeah the other pet drivers in this league besides me, P14 and P15, and today scores last point in P16. Maisie, Rhaegar, me and Silver not scoring any points, and uh, yeah that's it for this race. I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless, and um, yeah. See you the next time around Road America, a track I never have driven before, but uh, yeah, I think it will be a better race than this. So, until then, I say bye bye.